Welcome back everyone. I hope you're all doing well. Thanks for tuning in and joining me for another Mars Anomalies feature. We're looking at anomalies I discovered at a new site in Milankovitch in a region called Arcadia Dorsa. This is in the northern mid-latitudes of Mars and I haven't found many anomalies in the northern mid-latitudes so this is quite unusual folks, let's take a closer look. The NASA team calls this high-rise photograph dune monitoring in Milankovitch crater. Acquired recently on the 26th of July 2022 at a resolution of 61.7 centimeters per pixel. I'll be showing you images are cropped from the black and white map projected file. This one's 201 megabytes in size. There's a look at the low res black and white and I'm sure you can already see why I don't think these are natural dunes folks. Check out the symmetry and geometry and the similarity in the design if I could call it that of these so-called dunes. They measure 180 plus meters wide. The coordinates of this site are roughly at 54 degrees 17 minutes north, 146 degrees 23 minutes west in Milankovitch and there's the region called Arcadia Dorsa. We'll take a closer look at this in Google Earth Mars towards the end of the video. So let's have a look at the first one Check this out folks, about 180 meters wide and it's got this weird shape to it, almost like a comma. And then yeah, we've got a rather strange feature and this is on each of these I'll be showing you. Sometimes this is rectangular, other times more oval. This makes me think this is a hard structure, not just a dune. It seems to be hollowed out yeah, on the side. There's a closer look. Check this out, folks. Equal spacing between these narrow lines. Could this be some type of wind trap or vent? Check out the strange almost like veiny look to it on the top as well. Then we have these two about 200 meters apart and also we have the strange shape to it. And yeah, we can see that sort of rectangular opening once again with these long narrow lines, almost like a grid you could say. And that there looks like a rather hard type of surface. It's got like an arch shape to it. Also the veiny look to it. We've got are these dunes or could these be spikes or thorns? Very similar to the joe fruit that I featured recently. We'll have a look at those towards the end of the video as well. So let's zoom in on the left hand one. Check this out. It's got like an arch to it. Seems to have a very hard surface. It doesn't cave in. And then this looks like it's open here, folks. Then we have two that are slightly further apart. Let's zoom in on the left hand one and again we've got these long thin parts to it over there. This also yeah on the top looks almost like a fingerprint. The same sort of pattern that you'd get from a fingerprint. It's rather weird. And then the veiny surface as well. I wonder if these could be giant fossilized shells folks. And then we've got two more, slightly further apart. Let's zoom in on the left hand one. And these two look almost identical, folks. Check out the 
fingerprint type of pattern on top of this one as well. It looks almost like a huge shell. And again, the long narrow part, and it looks like that's open. And then these are slightly longer on the bottom right hand side. Check out this. Let's zoom in on this one, guys. It looks like an opening there. And then this, could these be little sand dunes or are we looking at spikes or thorns? And there they are for comparison. I'm sure you'll agree with me, these things look very alike. Sand dunes, I don't know folks, but these parts on each of these I doubt these are sand dunes and there's no sand between these things either. It's a very clean surface and then these objects just pop right out of the surface. Then we get to these that seem to be joined. Check out the rectangular shape of here. This looks highly artificial, folks. I don't think these are sand dunes. With all due respect to NASA. Check out these long spiky bits as well. This looks almost like a ramp going down into the surface. This one, also these seem to be joined and then the rectangular opening on this one. Let's zoom in on that. Check this out. Almost the perfect rectangular shape to it. And again it looks like this is a ramp going down into this object. This one very unusual as well. And then it has a rectangular anomaly to it. So these long narrow bits sticking off the side. Check this out. Another snaky one. These things look so similar. If I don't put them next to one another for you to compare, it's where you're looking at the same anomaly over and over. Zoom in on that rectangular part again. And there they are to compare. This looks unnatural. Looks like it's been carved into the side of each of these strange so-called dunes. Then Joe discovered these a while ago, folks. I thought I'd feature them here because there's also some symmetry and geometry and similarity between these. And that's also calls these dunes. This photograph was acquired on the 9th of July 2015 at 63.2 centimeters per pixel. I'll be showing images cropped from the JP2 black and white map projected file. There they are in the low res black and white and the arrangement of these is also very very unusual parallel rows and then equal spacing between them check that out located in the northern polar regions at 76 degrees 31 minutes north 58 degrees 27 minutes east and there they are we'll have a look at these very briefly, I featured them already. These are virtually the same size as those strange comma-shaped anomalies I showed in the beginning. Check out the shapes over here. Like clover leaves, clover leaf shapes. And then the large 
These look almost like petals or leaves. So sort of dome-shaped anomaly Z zoom in on those two for example. Check out the flower or clover shape to the end of here. And these shapes are very common on these anomalies. It also looks as if these might be openings. And also we've got the veiny features on the surface. So let's zoom in on this one. These look almost like huge tomatoes. Check again. There's another one of those flower or clover shapes to that. And it looks as if that there is an opening. Let's zoom in on that one. These things, these leaves or leaf shaped parts seem to emanate from there, from the inside out. Zoom in on those two. And again, the petal flower shape there. And then these huge bright parts that look like leaves or petals. This is the illustration I featured quite recently based on what I speculate we might be looking at. This is an artist's impression of 3D render that I put together. And then I did two more. Let's zoom in on the next one. The other guys are approaching these very weird objects. And there they are close up folks, these things are huge 180 meters plus in size you can imagine if you stand on top of this that they will look like an antenna mast right let's go up to Arcadia Dorsa to that site and the photograph I featured in this one was not loaded to Google Earth Mars yet. So there's a brief look at those anomalies once again. And uh, I'm sure you'll agree they look highly artificial. Very similar in size, shape and design. So let's have a look at some of the other anomalies I discovered in the northern mid-latitudes. This is in Stokes Crater. The strange megalithic block or slab type anomalies. And there's a couple of these circular, they look almost like collapsed domes or sort of stone hinges if you like with these concentric rings and uh, these circular anomalies are about 300 meters in diameter so this is near Fulegra Montes where I discovered that strange block it seems to be cracked diagonally across the surface that measures about 20 meters across folks another huge megalithic block about 20 meters long and it's got a protrusion or knob right there in its center right so there's that site Go more to the east. Strange triangular surface feature, it's about 160 meters long. It looks like it's been carved into the surface as well, and uh, the one side of here seems to be caved in. Let's have a look at one or two 
other side strange disc with a smaller disc in its center that there's about 12 meters in diameter check there row of small similar knobs of protrusions on it there as well another triangular depiction strange all shaped block So a diamond shape to that part seems to be in a clasp. It's very weird. Lots of these blocks and slabs. It's almost like a huge spoon hollowed out. Again, check the dark spots on this thing. Looks almost like a piece of machinery. Right, I think. I'm not going to carry on with those. Let's have a look at where uh, Joe found those strange anomalies. So there they are just briefly again. Some of those that I showed you. And this is in the north polar region of Mars share your thoughts and opinion as to what we might be looking at here in the comments below I'd love to hear what you think of these folks are we looking at just natural dunes as NASA calls them or could these be hidden structures disguised as dunes with these openings and ramps leading down to the insides could they be wind traps or maybe huge fossilized creatures like shells could they be uh, some type of ships that crashed here on the surface who knows folks and in these three the rectangular openings are just mind blowing and with that said, I've reached the end of this presentation. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a huge thumbs up. Always appreciated. And share it with like-minded friends and family. Take care, everybody. I'll see you in the next one very soon. Cheers for now.